Hi, this is Ed Fanjoy of the New England Electric Auto Association. We're here with some folks in Hingham, and Alain Jude has brought an example of a Hyundai Ionic uh, hybrid from uh, Hyundai South in Rockland, Massachusetts. And we're going to have a fun test driving with folks who have never driven this car before. So we're off and running. Ready? He knows you've driven uh, you've driven hybrids before. If you know just to push the button and you're not looking for the key. Well, it's an old Honda. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it was the best car, one of the best cars I ever drove in my life. They're right, they're right, they're right, they're right. Oh, that's right. Sorry about that. Well, you know, it'd be nice if they had a big fat arrow telling us that. That's. Okay, I thought we could. I thought that was the way out. I guess no, not. I no, see the arrow. No, yeah. You're supposed to make a loop. You know why? Oh. You come here on certain nights, yeah, yeah. school nights, yeah. and there's a gazillion people coming in and out and circling around. How does the car feel so far, oh, the handling? Is it? Glad much, to hear it. Uh, I, as much as I love the Tesla. To the left, to the left. Yeah, oh, I know. As much as I know the Tesla, the, the Tesla, I thought it was fabulous. This feels just like my car. That's good to hear, actually, because this is an affordable alternative to the Tesla, you know. Amaji Day, how much does the, um, how, what's the, the electric range on this car? Does it have a pure electric? Can you that question again? What is the pure electric range on this? Does it get, like, 20 miles pure electric? Yes. Or, now, am I driving pure electric or am I riding uh, engine? Now you're riding on the engine. Okay, fine. Does it have an option to just go pure electric for a period of time? It looks like... It switches by itself. It switches by itself. So it's oh, a parallel right. hybrid like the Prius. All right. Okay, yeah. uh, gotcha. And the Honda. Yeah. yeah. Are you going here, up and down? Any variation? Are you going a hill? No problem. Car it drives very comfortably, and I'm not saying that. I I will tell you if there's something I don't like. I'm glad to hear that. I really am. I really will because it's very comfortable. I think it's important for people to feel that the experience of getting into an electric vehicle or a hybrid yeah. is relatively seamless from yeah. what they're used to, in order yeah. for people to want to buy these and adopt them. Um, what is the price on this? The window sticker is twenty five thousand. Really. Wow, this particular one. It's not bad at all. What's the uh, EPA rated miles per gallon? The city is 55 on highway is 45. Then the MPG is 55. And the MPG is what? 55. 55, wow. That's the MPGE, okay. Yeah, this is this is just like driving our mini. Really, it's just it's just very easy. Very comfortable. I was probably a little intimidated by the, uh, the, the Tesla. Yeah, by the Tesla. To, to be honest with you. Um, intimidated so, how? Oh, power or price or? No, 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 no. By hand, handling, because yeah. there's so many relatively new things. Even though when you're in the driving mode, the driving is driving is driving. You know, but yeah. still, it wasn't. Um, and I didn't know how to position my seat as comfortably sure. as this. I, know, I I push this lever and it just gets me up very comfortably. Sort of like a normal I'm sure car, the Tesla yeah. had the same yeah. thing. I was just sort of overwhelmed yeah. in awe, so to speak. But do, this is just perfect. Do you have? Do they have plans for having a? Um, do they have plans for um, having an all electric version? When do they plan on getting that in? Yes, uh, I don't really know the specific time, but we hope. Before the end of this year. Okay. Because they have it in California now. Yeah, that's usually where it all seems to start a lot of this. Right. I understand there are three different versions of this. This is the hybrid, right? Yes. And then there's an all gasoline if you want all gasoline. That's correct. And then there's all electric, electric if you yes. want all electric. Okay. Now, it looks so, as I'm looking at the dashboard, it looks like it. Do I understand that you have a 10 inch? Uh, there's a p possibility of an option for a 10-inch screen as well as this. That's, uh, the only design it should be that inch. That's the way it comes out. 
Okay. And what is the, um, could you kind of walk us through uh, some of the, the aspects of this? Because I know you can connect your phone uh, and like if you have a pre preferred navigation app, it'll appear right. on the, on so the well, screen. This one has the uh, it's a touch screen. On the screen, it's a touch screen. You have your Bluetooth. Okay. You have your Apple Play or any smart uh, smartphone mm -hmm. that can give you the Apple, um, Apple apps on it. Or you can, any, any smartphone. Does this have regenerative braking? Yes. Is it possible I, I, you could you could help my, our driver here uh, figure out how to connect the regenerative braking so we can kind of see that? It's a, always a great graphic is to see that little electricity going back into the battery. That's going to be on the dashboard. Okay. Yeah. Right there on the dashboard. Right there. Okay. See, now, yeah, as, a, as a driver, I want to give my opinion on that. Sure. I think a good driver spends as little time looking at a screen as possible. Okay. He spends all his time out on the real looking steering. The steering. Looking, at the, <laughs> looking at the not, road. Not to be silly about yeah. it, but I mean... How do you feel about the uh, autonomous vehicles like Tesla? And they're put, they're, A lot of people are really pushing the idea of autonomous vehicles. I think I missed it. Are we gonna Are we gonna pick up the rest of the gang and go out for ice cream sodas or something <laughs> <laughs> to the malt shop? I'm going to him. It's very. <laughs> I like your choice of music, by the way. Uh, it's very good. Uh, yeah, it is very good. I mean, it's very kind of. Is it ser serious, serious, or is it GBH? On the radio? Yeah. Um, the station that we are now is the FM. Yeah, WCRB. Yes. Yeah, great. It's great. I love it. That helps. Right. And again, this car comes with a warranty. The 10 years on a thousand on the parts. And then you have a five years, 60 bumper to bumper. And you also have five years roadside assistance, just like triple A for free. That's pretty good. What about the battery? Ten years? That's ten a ten years. years. Okay. Too, well. May I interrupt you guys sure. just for a minute? He has a lifetime. You're this is a semi-private drive. This is all this property. They have to allow people through here, so we respect them. They say keep five miles an hour or whatever. Okay. But look at look at this. It's just yeah, like it's beautiful. Such a hideaway. Yeah, it is. Just off the road. It is. It's not even marked. Yeah. Oh, well, you wouldn't want it, Mark, if you well, wanted yeah. to drive it. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this then, is beautiful, though. This this is just novel. These these houses are hidden away. God, they're probably 50, 60 Watch months. Out yeah, I am, I am, I am. That's probably 50, 60, or 80 years old. That house Look is. at that little house there. That's yeah, not even that's a big we mansion. Buy for our son not, uh, if we can afford it. Not even a <laughs> McMansion. That's a nice little home. Yeah. Over there. It is. It really, it really is. Palace. Yeah, lifetime on the battery. Ten years? It's a lifetime. In other words, it's guaranteed. Yes. If it yeah. gives out, you're still covered. That's correct. That's pretty good. Tug Manuk Lane. Where do you want to go? No, we'll go down here. No, we'll... Uh... I like the fact that you're choosing your own route and not letting the poor sales rep have to kind of give you suggestions because they that's a new a new area for him he's probably not going to know any better than no, you do I'm, I'm not. I just that's a nice pickup say, no it's a good pickup yeah the tesla i mean no one can compare that it's a, right it's a it's, it's it's comparing uh i don't know uh, horses against uh, camels or something <laughs> it's not fair well this is what really matters to me because we have a lot of articles we put on our Facebook page about technical aspects and battery technology and uh, marketing uh, things and marketing news and stuff. But you always come, it still comes down to a person, a driver in a car sure. uh, deciding whether they're comfortable with the experience, uh, if they have range anxiety, or even educating them that, you know, like the average American, 90% uh, of Americans uh, drive an average of only 40 miles a day. And, you know, I mean, that's, but having a range of uh, the new, I think Chevy put a new, um, uh, up the game when they had a, the Bolt come out with a 240 mile range. 
and so now everybody's scrambling to do the same. And I know that I understand that uh, the, I, uh, the Hyundai in a year or two is supposed to come out with a 200 plus mile range SUV, pure EV. The problem is you have to make a decision or you'll be waiting yeah, and waiting, waiting and waiting and waiting. We'll just wait for you. Almost seems that with pure EVs, it's almost like best to go and just lease because you never know what the new technology is going to bring. I want to make a comment. Bring. Yeah. I raised the mirrors. Yeah. This this mirror. Yeah. This is so straightforward the way it should be. Yeah. Our car, the Mini, oh, yeah. <laughs> there's a little thing the size of an acorn. Sure. Black. Up against, yeah. stuck up against the door, and it's supposed to operate both things. Now imagine if you're in the tunnel underneath Boston, sure, in the Ted sure. Williams Tunnel, and you have to make a, and you want to be able to see, there's a big